Alternate History, Episode 6. So, the picture on your screen today is Akmar's Admiral Akbar of the <laughs> I don't know of the rebellion Admiral Akbar of the rebellion saying it's a trap but what if Akbar realized that Indoor was a trap earlier before they even arrived to the planet what would this mean for the future of the rebellion and the new republic which is the government set up after the Battle of Endor? Well, the first thing that may happen is a different form of approach. They may try to approach the situation differently instead of taking an Imperial shuttle to the planet, or they could still take the Imperial shuttle, but simply taking a longer amount of time for the crew aboard the planet and approach it differently. Um, simply, they will have taken a different approach to this situation. They will have obviously been more cautious if they knew it was going to be a trap. The question is, would the Emperor have a backup trap? We really don't know. How all this would work out. Again with that different form of approach. They could just wait for the Death Star to no longer be around Endor. Because it being around Endor was a simple way to protect it while it was being built. Now what would the future of Endor be after this? I'm really not too sure. Endor could be used to make more Death Stars. Or it could simply be destroyed, as with the first Death Star. The first Death Star, the planet it was created at, was a prison planet, which was destroyed in three shots from the Death Star as practice after it was finished. So, Indoor could, the moon of Indoor or what we know as Endor, may have easily been destroyed by the Death Star instead. So, other types of approaches they may take instead of just waiting till a different time to where it's no longer protected by Endor's shield. Because you have to remember the reason for Death Star being at Endor was its shield generator that sh put a shield around the entire Death Star. They could have a more of a hit and run tactic, like with the first Death Star whenever it's not around Endor, is one way. Now, the long term effects of this, well, in the first effect I can think of is right after the Battle of Endor in the Expanded Universe, there's something known as the True Sepakura. This is when an alien species known as the C C Rook invade. Now the reason they were invading was they had been invited to this part of the galaxy. They had been invited to this part of the galaxy by the Emperor. They decided to invade after the Emperor died knowing that they need humans for their attachment. So what will have likely happened is the Emperor would have become allies with the Siru Rook, which would increase his power, which would cause the rebellion a lot more trouble. So this could harm the rebellion. This would also form a longer war, as the Battle of Endor is what I guess you can consider finish the war out in the long run. It's going to take much longer time for the Imperials to be finished off, as the Emperor had focused most of the Imperial forces at 
Endor and the remaining forces that either escaped or weren't in the system become remnants for Imperial warlords such as people like Zinj and Grand Admiral Thrawn to command. So this war will be much longer. So the rebellions will be much more attacked. This also means they're going to need more plants on their side in order to continue on. As we know, they had support of several human plants. Belasa, I believe, was one that supports them. Um, Mon Calamari, obviously. Um, Bespin, but Bespin is taken over by Imperials. So really, the rebellion doesn't have many places to go at this moment in time. But they're going to need more support, especially with Empire getting the help of the Sea Root in order to stay alive. Now with the longer war, we have no idea how long this could last. This could last for 40 years till the use of Van Vaughn come. As I doubt that would actually be the case, it easily could have been. If this war were to hold on that long, this galaxy will have likely been taken over by the fading user in the Vong. The other thing we have to look at is the Death Star would still be alive. Everyone saw the effects of the Death Star on Alderaan, their original one. People are going to be much more afraid of this bigger and battered Death Star. So this is going to give a lot of fear in terms of of people and strengthen the empire further. No one's going to be wanting to join the rebellion, which is going to harm the rebellion, I believe. So, if even if Akbar realized this was a trap earlier and the attack was delayed or whatnot, this is going to harm the rebellion much more in the long run, and they will be more likely to have lost the war. So even though it was a trap, it was the best time to hit. Because if they delayed the attacking, the Death Star would have finished. Because as we see, it was already having the ability to be used. Even though it wasn't finished. So this fear would be struck in Imperial War. Who's going to want to defect the rebellion when their plant could be destroyed and one fell swoop by the Empire and all its inhabitants dead? That's too big a risk. Any planet in favor of the rebellion can be easily wiped out so, really, the rebellion made the best choice, as even if it were destroyed in the trap at Endor, it's a quicker death than slowly being, than the flames slowly being put down by the foot of the Empire. So, Akmar is saying it's a trap, as it's true, it doesn't necessarily mean it wasn't the right time for them to hit. And the alternate history path doesn't look very bright for the future of rebellion and a new republic, as the empire will have likely held its grip on the galaxy. So, tell me what you think of this episode. Give me some more ideas for the next one. Hope you enjoy these. It's very unique to me. I enjoy them too. Comment down below. Any ideas? Minecraft Indiana signing out.